Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Uh, I'm going to start showing you guys how to program in Java, which is a very useful programming language that we're later going to use to program phone apps. So uh, you should definitely start learning this. So the first thing you're going to do is download the Java development kit. Now, some of you guys probably already have Java but chances are what you have is the Java runtime environment which is used to run Java class files which we're gonna explain what all that means later on but to actually compile Java source code you need the um, Java development kit okay so in Google type in download JDK and then you're gonna click the first link that comes up uh, it should say Java SE standard edition so click that and then it says Java SE downloads Java platform standard edition and then what you want to download is the JDK so click on that click download okay and then what you're gonna do is scroll down accept license agreement and then you're gonna choose the operating system that you have and in my case I have a 64-bit uh, version of uh, Windows uh, 8 so I'm gonna choose the last one if you have 32-bit then you have to choose that one so I'm going to choose this .exe file so download it and then uh, save it save it to your computer and we'll come back when it's done okay so once it's completed you're going to click run click yes and then welcome to the installation wizard for Java SE development kit 8 click next and then um, just install everything now just keep in mind where this folder is going into because um, later on we're gonna refer to this folder quite a lot so I'm gonna change it to um, D drive slash Java okay D drive slash Java but wherever you put it in just make sure you remember the path for it okay click next so after you click next it should start um, installing and uh, now it wants to install the um, Java runtime environment so again I'm gonna change it to D drive slash Java so just put them both inside the same Java folder okay so it's successfully installed and then that's it you can close it now unfortunately there's a couple more things we've got to do to make sure that it works so the next thing we've got to do is go to the control panel on your computer so for Windows 8 um, you're gonna move to the bottom right hand side go to settings and go to change uh, sorry go to control panel here and then what you're gonna type in is env so in control panel you're gonna search for environment variables and then you're gonna click on edit the system environment variables okay and then you'll be in the system properties menu and then down the bottom you're gonna click on environment variables 
and then what's going to happen is you're going to add a new environment variable so down the bottom here where it says system variables you're gonna add a new environment variable and the variable name is going to be called uh, percentage sign uh, sorry not percentage sign just JDK underscore home JDK underscore home and then the variable value is going to be where you just installed your JDK folder. So I can see, I can remember that I've just installed it in D drive slash Java slash JDK blah blah. So I'll point to that, click OK. Okay, so now I have a new environment uh, system variable called JDK home. So basically it's saying that um, whenever a program refers to this folder, okay, instead of looking for this folder, it'll just look for whatever is in JDK home. Okay, the next is system variable we want to edit is already there. It's called path. So we're going to click on path and we're going to click edit and make sure you don't change anything that is already there so we're going to go to the front of it and we'll put a space or we'll put a semicolon there at the beginning okay now in front of the semicolon uh, I want you to type in percentage sign JDK underscore home percentage sign so notice this is the variable we've just created uh, slash bin okay so basically this means that uh, we can access um, our Java development uh, compiler uh, anywhere in, on our computer so we don't have to go into that folder okay so click OK and then click OK click OK now to make sure that Java um, the software development kit is installed you're gonna right click on the bottom left hand side of your Windows go to command prompt go to your Windows command prompt if you're in Windows 7 you can just go to start menu run and type CMD press OK that'll go to the command prompt and if you type Java C okay you should see some things come up okay you should be able to see this now this means that you've set it all up properly so if you haven't got this it means that you need to follow the tutorial again okay thanks for watching guys see you next time